You must know Shane Vaughan. He was a cricketer, just 52 years old. He died recently during a holiday in Thailand. The cause of his death? Heart attack. Shane Vaughan's fans were shocked. The world could not believe that an athlete could die of a heart attack at such a young age. Shane Vaughan was a cricketing legend. He was never really shredded. He struggled with weight for most of his career, but Vaughan was not obese either. So what gives? Heart attack is supposed to be the result of an unhealthy lifestyle, right? At least that's what most of us think. Right before Vaughan died, he was actively working towards transforming his body. The cricketer was on a 14-day extreme liquid diet. He wrote about it on Instagram. Operation Shred has started 10 days in and the goal by July is to get back to the shape from a few years ago. Let's go. Hashtag healthy, hashtag fitness, hashtag feel good. This post is from the 28th of February. Vaughan died four days later. He never saw July. He was found unresponsive and could not be revived. Did Mission Shred have something to do with Vaughan's death? We don't know and we do not wish to speculate. But what we do know is that we want to address a problem that has been underlined by Shane Warne's untimely death, the problem of living on the edge. You and I are both guilty of it. We binge for seven days, then detox for two weeks straight to purge ourselves of the gastronomic sins. Is this lifestyle even sustainable? How long can we carry on like this? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Gravitas Plus. I'm Palki Sharma Upadhyay and I have some questions for you. How many of you have tried extreme diets? How many of you have survived on fluids in the run-up to a wedding just so that you could fit into a dress or a lehenga? How many of you have replaced breakfast with lemon juice, lunch with buttermilk and dinner with soup? It's normal these days. It's part of our diet culture. It's the same culture that allows us to grab a drink the moment we land at a holiday destination and drink just juice for seven straight days once we are back from it. Hashtag detox, hashtag cleansing, hashtag flushing out toxins, hashtag shedding the holiday weight. Think about it. Most of us today are either on an extreme diet or we are quote unquote cheating. There is never a balance, just extremes fanned by the internet. It does not tell us that this lifestyle is deadly. Let's go back to Shane Vaughan. Here's what his long-term manager revealed. It was a bit of all or nothing. It was either white buns with butter and lasagna stuffed in the middle or he would be having black and green juices. Shane Warne was a heavy smoker. He was known for his love for baked beans, beer and cigarettes. Warne's family said he would regularly go on 30-day fasting tea diets and cleanse diets. The cricketer once mentioned he has tried traditional Chinese medicine for weight loss. Right before his death, Warne had completed a 14-day extreme liquid diet. Basically, Shane Warne was one of us. He believed that the teas and herbal drinks would do him good. They would transform him, help him lose weight, become healthy. Isn't that why most of us take up these extreme diets? We blend a bowl full of spinach and celery every morning and pat our back for starting our day with green juice. No one tells us that these juices are often high in oxalate. That drinking large quantities of spinach or beet juice can increase our risk of kidney problems. Yes, they may help us shed some pounds, but in the long term, they will take a toll on our bodies. No one tells us that a lot of these bottled diet juices may not be pasteurized or treated to kill harmful bacteria. We are told to drink laxatives, numerous glasses of lemon juice, prune juice. No one tells us that too much laxative can result in severe diarrhea or electrolyte imbalance. That's the thing about extreme diets. They're often falsely advertised. The research they cite often have a small sample size or may not be peer reviewed. No doctor will ever advise you to live on just juice that's unless you're recovering from a surgery. So why on earth do we subject ourselves to such extreme diets? We starve ourselves, fast for hours, resist cravings, survive on just vegetables, fruits, water, herbs or tea. Why? Actually, I'd like to answer that. Our generation loves instant results and anything that is Insta approved. Extreme diets are both. They get the needle down on our weighing machine and make for an attractive Instagram post. There's a bonus. Extreme diets fit perfectly into our extreme lifestyles. We don't mind sipping on juices for an entire week if that allows us to binge through the weekend or fit into a dream dress, look fabulous in beachwear and get that perfect photo for the gram. But here's the problem. 
extreme diets are not hashtag healthy. For starters, they weaken your immune system. Most crash diets recommend cutting down on fatty food. Your body then struggles to absorb fat-soluble vitamins. I'm talking about vitamin A, D, E or K. They're needed to support our immune system. Without them, you're more likely to fall sick, which means the wedding you dieted so hard for could be spent recovering under covers. Then there are some diets that flood your body with fats. Have you heard about the keto diet? You have to be living under a rock if you haven't. Keto is a fat-rich diet. Basically, a person is supposed to consume around 80% fat, 10% carbs and 10% protein. The idea is to deprive your body of glucose. What is glucose? It's the main source of energy for your body cells. What happens when the body does not get glucose? It leans on an alternative fuel called ketones. Glucose is obtained from carbs, ketones from fats. But the problem with too much ketones is that it often results in kidney or liver problems. These diets are extreme. Either there is no fat intake or a fat overdose. What happens to nutritional balance then? Extreme diets do not give your body the nutrition it needs. It deprives you of essential vitamins and fibers. Extreme diets or crash diets can trigger heart problems. Very low calorie diets can strain the heart. If you have underlying heart problems, a very low calorie diet can make the condition worse. Here's what an expert recently told a media outlet. Basically, if your metabolism, your handling of fluids, salt and other electrolytes gets completely out of whack, if you have a small heart attack, you're more likely for that to turn into something serious with a rhythm disorder. Crash diets also leave you dehydrated with bad hair, bad skin, bad breath, fatigued, hungry and anxious. Forget looking great at that party. If you're hungry, you're likely to stay distracted or irritated for most of the evening. If you're crash dieting to lose weight, here's something you must know. Extreme diets reduce your metabolic rate. They make you put on weight later. I'll explain. You see, extreme diets break down our muscles. Less muscles mean less metabolic rate, which means when you're crash dieting, your body is burning less calories while resting. Experts talk about the yo-yo effect or weight cycling. What they mean is this. Extreme diets can make you lose weight fast, but gain back that weight faster. If you look at Shane Wan's pictures, he famously gained and shed weight through his career, he tried extreme diets. Reports say around 2019, he purchased some meal replacement tea. Warren's family reportedly said he wasn't keeping too well. The cricketer had chest pains. The Thai police say Shane Warren died of natural causes. There was no foul play. I want to put this on record here. I'm not villainizing a legend or victim blaming. Shane Warren was a great cricketer. He was an influencer. He inspired many people. The point of this report is to raise awareness, to bring to light the problems of living on the edge. Today, a simple Google search can give you ways to lose weight in a month or 10 days, seven days, even three. But the question you must ask yourself is whether these hacks are sustainable. Is extreme living sustainable? What sense does it make to take that shot of hangover juice after drinking all night? They look fancy in wedding hampers. But how is it helping you compensate for the binging? Drowning yourself in alcohol or smoking like a chimney puts you at the risk of heart attacks, organ damage, even cancer. No amount of green juice or diets can undo this. Eating too much puts you at the risk of obesity and a long list of diseases. No amount of cleansing can compensate for it. Just FYI, our body can clean itself. We have an organ called liver, remember? It's the liver's job to process our blood. Our body also cleanses itself through urine, sweat, excretion. Treat your body well and allow it to do its job. Don't torture it with extreme diets. They peak and wane rapidly. One day, the world is talking about keto diet. The next day, it's intermittent fasting. The day after, the world has moved on to a new diet. One day, kale is the secret to weight loss. The next day, it's celery. The day after, the world has discovered another exotic drink. Drop the glass, pick a healthy lifestyle instead, reduce alcohol intake, say no to smoking or sugary and processed foods, eat healthy fats, reduce stress and get enough exercise. Fitness is a steady and prolonged approach. Embrace balance, not extreme.